In this video, we're going to take a look at the fundamentals of ProBuilder and why ProBuilder is a great way to quickly prototype or gray box a level in Unity. ProBuilder makes it easy to build and block out level geometry inside of Unity. So we're going to use ProBuilder to build a small level to test out the game mechanics of our first person shooter example. To get started using ProBuilder, let's open the Package Manager by choosing Window, Package Manager, and then let's select ProBuilder and choose Install. Let's also install the ProGrids package, as this will make it easier for us to place the geometry in our level. Next, let's open the ProBuilder window by choosing Tools, ProBuilder, ProBuilder window. We can swap between the List view and the Icon view by choosing the dropdown and selecting either Use Icon Mode or Use Text Mode. Let's start by placing a floor for our character. Let's open the Shape panel by holding Alt on our keyboard and clicking on the New Shape tool. Let's create a 10 by 10 block and choose Build. This will create the cube and act as the base for our room. In Object Mode, we can move, rotate, and scale our shape just like any other game object. We can also edit vertices, edges, and faces. It is worth noting that it is not recommended to both scale and edit vertices, however, as it could lead to undesired results. You can see that we can also edit, scale, and rotate individual parts of the mesh to change its shape. For now, though, let's just change its size by dragging out the faces. Let's choose the Face Selection tool and drag the top face of the block here. If we take a look at the inspector, the ProBuilder Mesh component shows the size of our block. There's also an info panel that can be enabled in the ProBuilder Preferences for more detailed information. Next, we just need to turn our block here into a room. We can do this easily by flipping the face normals. Let's select the edges on top of our block and choose Flip Object Normals. Within just a few clicks, we've built a basic room for our player. Now, this is a great start, but I'd like to make the level a little bit more complex. Let's add a room with a stairwell for our player and build a second floor for our level. Let's start by building out the room for our stairwell. Let's select our face here and extrude it. We can use the Extrude button or hold Shift and drag the face. Let's drag it out by one unit and then extrude it again. Next, we're going to create an edge loop to create our dividing wall. Let's select our edges and choose Insert Edge Loop. You can also insert an edge loop with the keyboard shortcut Alt plus U. This creates a loop around the room. Let's select our loop using the Edge tool and move it into place. Then let's select the outer faces and remove them by hitting the Backspace key. Now let's create the faces for our interior wall by selecting our top and bottom edges here and using the Bridge Edge tool. We can then select the loop and adjust it to make the wall a bit thinner. Let's also make this edge of our wall more interesting by having it ramp slightly. Let's select the face and choose Subdivide Faces. Then let's grab the bottom edge here and drag it out slightly. Now we've got a nice spot for our stairwell. We'll need to add some stairs. ProBuilder supports a variety of great geometry shapes to help with greyboxing, including prisms, pipes, and stairs. To add an alternative shape, let's open the Shape panel. Here we can select the type of shape we'd like to create. Let's choose Stair. Then let's position it in place and adjust the settings to get our ideal shape. When we're done, let's choose Build. Now we've got our stairs. We're going to have to do some more detailed work to create our second floor. Firstly, let's remove this face so we can ascend our stairs. Then let's select the edge around our stairs and extrude it a few times to fill out our top floor. It may just be a gray box, but it can be useful to assign different materials to parts of our environment to help convey different information while we're blocking out a level. 
let's replace this default material with our custom material by dragging it onto our game object. If we're working with more complex geometry and textured materials, we can also open up the UV editor and adjust the UVs of our ProBuilder meshes. With ProBuilder, it's fast and flexible to graybox levels and try out different level designs for your game. To download the example project and get started using ProBuilder yourself, follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.